acceleration due to gravity and its variation. Why does an apple thrown upwards come down? Why does the speed of the apple increase as it comes down? It is because the earth attracts all the objects towards its center with the force of gravity. Here, O is the center of the earth and R is the radius of the earth. Acceleration is produced in the objects which fall freely towards the earth. This acceleration of freely falling bodies is called acceleration due to gravity. It is denoted by G. Its mean value on the earth's surface is 9.88 meter per second square. The value of G is taken to be positive when an object falls downward and negative when it moves upward against the earth's gravity. For this very reason, rain falls in the downward direction. When an apple is thrown upward, it goes in a direction opposite to the direction of the force of gravity. Therefore, it decelerates or slows down. However, when an apple falls down, it moves in the same direction as that of the force of gravity. Therefore, it accelerates. Variation in the value of G with height. Consider a point P at a height H above the Earth's surface. The value of acceleration due to the gravity G dash at point P is less than that at the surface of the Earth. It is because the effective radius for this point becomes R plus H. Hence, with an increase in height, the value of G decreases. For example, at the sea level, G dash is 9.88 meter per second square. At a height of 8.8 .8 kilometer on the Mount Everest, G dash is 9.80 meter per second square. And for a communication satellite, 35,700 kilometer above the Earth's surface, G dash is 0 0.225 meter per second square only. This shows that acceleration due to gravity varies with height. Let us now find the acceleration due to gravity at a depth d. Consider a point Q at the depth d below the Earth's surface. Though the effective radius for this point decreases, which should have caused an increase in the value of g. However, the effective mass for this point also decreases. The combined effect of a decrease in the effective radius and mass of the Earth results in a decrease in the value of g. Therefore, at a depth of 2.5 km inside a coal mine, g dash is 9.87 meter per second square while on the seabed 11 kilometer below g dash decreases to 9.86 meter per second square the value of g increases as one moves from the equator towards the pole this is because the earth is not a perfect sphere it is flattened at the poles the equatorial radius is 21 km greater than the radius at the poles. Due to this difference in the radius, the value of G at the poles is greater than that at the equator. The rotational motion of the Earth also affects the value of G on the Earth's surface. Therefore, the value of G' varies on moving from the equator to the poles.